Good morning, fishing girl. I'm supposed to be meeting some people down at the beach, some clients, and uh, this would be my second charter, but we're dealing with an issue where we've got rain that was here, and now it's supposed to be later, but it might be coming back, and the forecast just keeps changing, so I'm seeing if they're flexible with their plans. In the meantime, it's the perfect tide for me to fish this beach, so I'm gonna get down there with just one pole. Uh, I don't even have shrimp on me because the tackle shops were closed. <laughs> but I'm just going to take one pull down. We're going to see what happens. So before we get out to the beach, I want to give a huge shout out to Bernard Steed. He's part of our fishing group. He's up in Jacksonville and he's the one who gave me this camera, said it was just collecting dust and I might as well use it. So thank you. Thank you so much. We really, really, really appreciate it. And we'll see what great video content we can come up with. See, there was a storm over here and it's uh looks like it's leaving now but it's like I can't tell if it's gonna come back or not I don't want clients to meet me out here and then all of a sudden it starts raining on us yeah I think I got something My sinker is stuck in a rock, but I've also got a fish on. I don't want to get out too deep. But I'm hoping that the fish, there we go, might help get the sinker out. There we go, skating on top of the water. And we got a hairy, hairy blenny. Look at this uh, dude. He's got some teeth on him. He almost looks like a sea robin, but they're not. So here's a little guy. Look at those teeth. Yeah, we'll give you a Harry Blaney kiss. Harry Blaney. Um, but I'm going to throw him back. I'm not going to keep this guy. Because, I mean, I may be able to eat him, but I really... I don't know about that. We'll get you back, dude, okay? All right, so my clients, I told them I'm already catching fish and it looks like it's clearing up, so they're gonna be here in 30 minutes. I'm gonna grab my cart. Andy's gonna grab some shrimp and we're gonna get this party started. I've got something on this line. I don't know how long that was like that. Right over here. This, is, this was out there too. Oh, there's seaweed. Could be that. I really hope it's not seaweed. It was pulling pretty good. Let's see if we see it jumping or anything on the other. As it comes across. Oh yeah, there's something there. We got a whiting. All right. Nice little golf king fish. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's stuck. I can't tell if there's a fish or not though, so I want you to reel it in just in case. Just in case. Oh, there you go. You got a whiting. Nice job. Yeah, that's that's a whiting, just like the other one we got there. Good job. All right, you can bring him up this way to the cart. But you'll want to grab him uh, right behind. I usually grab him like behind the head, like here. All right, and then that's a circle hook, so you kind of like Use a circular motion. There you go. You got it. All righty. Do you want to measure him? I've got a measuring right here on the cart. So let me move this out of the way. You caught a stingray once. 
Let's see how the, uh, flag there's the here. oh nice there's a zero here so that's not your first saltwater fish so oh nice so see what he is from head to tail you know some some oh good that's a pretty good size for a whiting the big I'm just gonna get this over the sandbar see if we can uh, find another whiting. Like it went over the sandbar Barely, yeah. okay i think what you want to do is hold uh when you're holding it make sure you've got this hand here and the other one down at the butt of it so you got like a wider angle a wider stance with your arms that'll help you a lot so yeah hold that one down farther and then release at the top is that better Good. Yeah, it looked better. This is unstuck. I think there's a fish on here. Yeah, I got it unstuck. I think the fish helped loosen it up. We're still rolling. Yep, the fish probably helped it. Felt like there was something on it. There we go. Get a little pig fish. She's a tiny little one. I think. That actually might be a different fish. I think that's a blenny. Yeah, that's actually a blenny. I haven't seen one that color before though. I caught a real dark looking one earlier. So what kind of fish is that? This is a type of blenny. I know they have different, they, I think they call it a hairy blenny. It's kind of a weird name for a fish, but, so, but yeah, he's a really, there we go. And the camera, he's a cool looking fish. Little blenny. Eat him or no? No. I'm gonna throw him back. He's kind of cute, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you keep keep the tension on there. Bird's coming in. Yeah, you got some. Uh, I think looks like some splashing. There you go. That is a black margate. It's a it's a small one, but it's a black margate. It's another another species of fish. All right, yeah, that's a little black margate. Awesome. Oh. I thought it was just seaweed, but there was a fish on there too. Yeah. It was covered with seaweed for a while though. All right, yeah. Circular motion there. There you go. I'll take this out of the way. We got Jeff reeling in here. He said, might be something on it. Oh, we got something over here. You want to try this one? It looked like something was hitting on this one. This one's pretty far out. But, and it might help to hold this if you want to hold it higher with that hand. There you go. All right. We got doubles going on. You got, both of you reeling in. Awesome. Oh, you got a fish. Nice. You can see him coming in. Yeah, he's right in front of you there. Oh, you got a stingray. All right. Sweet. Now we got to be really careful with him though, because he can sting you. Hence the name Stingray. Yeah, yeah, you can see the barb on his tail. So yeah, stay back. You know, we'll want to keep him upside down here, so he can't really get us with his tail. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to step on his tail too, so he's got no chance. He's right 
right here. Here he goes. Alright. Oh, you got a ladyfish. That's a little ladyfish. Nice job. He's, uh, he's, I think he's gotten, what, a four or five different species now. This is like, ah, there we go. Do you want to hold this guy for a picture? Yeah. I'll take this rod. She's kind of long and skinny. They feel weird. You want to trade me? This, the handle is locking up a bit, I think maybe because it went in the water, but there's a fish on there if you want to reel it in. It just might be a little tough. Oh. Um, if, is the handle too hard? Yeah, I'll hold the pole and you grab the line. Oh yeah, I'll take him off. He's a little dangerous. They've got a. Uh, we've got another species. I find that I can control them better if I. I've never been stung, stuck by one, except in my leg when a wave pushed one into my leg, and I didn't know. I didn't know what fish it was yet. So, so I always hold down their dorsal yeah. fin with the glove, and then behind their other fins, so they can't get me at all. I typically throw the catfish back. We've got plenty of other good eating fish. So um, if you want me to hold this near Brennan and you can take a picture of him. Well, little we'll catfish here. Nice, yeah, we've got some good whiting. Keep the tension. This is a little loose. If you can hold it up and keep the tension, but stop reeling for a second and I'll tighten it for you. Now try it. We're gonna try the other tactic because I think it if it I think there was a big fish on there and it ran into the rocks. I think it got itself it's just sticking down in the rocks, so I'm gonna give it some room to breathe and when it feels safe then it will come out of the rocks we'll see it go again Did it feel is it moving at all yeah it kind of really little bit okay yeah that could be a big stingray that's a that was whatever it was is big yeah i'm pretty sure it was a stingray because there was a piece of it that came up for just a second and then it dropped back down uh, stingrays when you catch them you start to bring them up for a minute. They suction and, and down they to the bottom. Go down and yeah. Over. So I just finished with that charter, and it was a huge, huge success. Uh, Brendan, the little guy, he ended up catching like six different species of fish, multiple whiting. We got. They didn't want to take them all, so I got whiting in the cooler. That's a big. That's a big plus for me too. But we got uh, his grandfather Jeff got on some good fish. Lost a few big ones huge stingray at the end that we almost got and uh, just ended up having to break the line off but it's been so much fun what an awesome day so thanks for watching if you love this content push the like push that subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified every time that i go live or every time that i post a new video but until next time we'll see you fishing girl